All right, folks, we're going to pick it up again in about a minute. So, I thought that brisket was awesome. I hope you didn't have too much of it. Because we have an action-packed afternoon, um, I want to, uh, uh, first of all, uh, remind you that I was running around trying to capture the notes, making sure the notes were captured at the tables. And I understand that some tables didn't get pen to paper, and that's fine. That's fine, but what I encourage you to do is to tell me what you're thinking about and tell us in the form of an application for a badge where you talk about what you learned and how you might apply that in, in your profession, in your practice. So that would be really, really helpful for us. And for those of you who did uh, take notes, thank you very much. You're going to have another chance in our... Um, our uh, next uh, pop-up design session after post-secondary. Speaking of which, um, I, we have five uh, post-secondary igniter speeches lined up. And the first one is from Debbie Johnson uh, from Durham College, who's going to be talking about her uh, efforts with Con Ed. Take it away, Debbie. All righty, first spot after lunch, primo speaking position. What can we say? Oh, wait a minute. Are we on? Losing my drill. That's me, yeah. Can we go to slideshow? There we go. Wonderful. Okay. Well, as Don said, my name is Debbie Johnson. I'm the Dean of Continuing Education at Durham College. And we've done um, a fair bit of work over the past, I would say, 16 months when it comes to badging. And the, the, the situation where we started working with badging is kind of unique. So I want to take a minute and just tell you about that. Back in mid-2017, we started work on the province's first cannabis education courses. And given the novelty of the subject matter, we decided that it made really good sense to not only look at something from a learning perspective that was different, but we also tried some new things in terms of delivery methods, in terms of how we structured our courses, and we decided that we wanted to try starting to work with badging. This was our first foray into it. I will confess, hand on heart, I was a skeptic when we started this, but I thought, you know what, let's give it a go. I am now a complete uh, affectionado. I've, I've been completely converted. Um, this has been a really great learning journey for us, and it's been very successful. So what I wanted to do was talk to you a little bit about what has worked for us, what we've learned, and then talk about where we're taking this before I give you your challenge. So in terms of our successes, and by the way, this isn't one of our badges. Um, we've issued almost 800 of them to date, 800 people, not 800 different types of badges. Um, we have about a 70% pickup rate in terms of people actually, we give them a link and we say, here's where you go to pick up your badge. About 70% of them say they want their badge and they, they pick it up. Now what's really interesting is we do course surveys all the time. And in our course surveys we explicitly ask, and we continue to do so to this day, number one, is it important for you to have a badge for this course? Almost universally, the answer is yes. 
We also ask, did you know what a badge was before you took the course? And almost universally, the answer is no. Fascinating comparison. We also asked about whether or not people think employers are going to find badges valuable. About a 50-50 split on that. So kind of middle of the road. But we've been doing the badges, and one of the things we learned was very effective was to incorporate our logo within the badge. It's given us a number of benefits. Number one, it's free marketing. Let's call it what it is. So it's great to have our logo out there and getting lots of exposure. It's not only good for the student perspective. People see that and they say, hmm, I want to take a Durham College course. How do I know that? We've had that direct feedback. I saw this badge on my buddy's LinkedIn profile. So that was a very good thing. Employers also look at it. It looks professional. It looks crisp. That's had a positive impact as well. So the visual imagery around the badge, I think, is very important. I think it sends a message to people. The second thing that we found works really well is badging individual courses. When we're talking at a post-secondary level, people typically will not get something formal in terms of recognition until they've completed a credential. And you know what? That's not for everybody. People get really excited when they can get something after a course, i.e., in this case, a badge. Because now they've got something tangible, and they can take it away and say, look, I did this. That's really positive. People love getting the badges. Important learning number two. An important piece number three is we went to industry. We do have a program advisory committee that we talk to. Um, about all sorts of things related to our courses regarding cannabis. And they gave us some valuable insights. They were skeptical at the beginning. Is this really going to be useful? Maybe, maybe not. But once they saw it, they were very happy. Moving forward, we will expand our use of badging. There's no question. It's working very well. We will work to get employer endorsements of badges. They'll really like that because Again, it gives us much more PR for it. And we will have to refine our operational processes because, quite frankly, it needs to be really simple, really easy. It can't be a mussy, fussy process. So that's where we're going with it. And in terms of my challenge to you, it kind of echoes one, what we've heard already today. How can we encourage greater employer recognition of badging? The employers on a broad scale, not just individual companies, need to understand the value and the credibility that badges have. So we've got to figure out how to do that better. And that's my talk. Thank you.